Hey everyone, welcome back to another adventure in the wonderful world of Minecraft. I'm super pumped for today's episode because we're embarking on a very special journey. Can you guess what it is? That's right, we're going to craft catnap. Now, I know what you're thinking. What's catnap? Well, stick around because you're about to find out and let me tell you, it's going to be epic. I've been hearing tales of catnap all across the Minecraft lands. Some say he's a bit scary looking, but I've got a hunch that beneath that fearsome exterior, there's a friend waiting to be made. And today, we're going to meet him. I mean, who wouldn't want to be friends with a creature named Catnap, right? I'm sure we're going to get along just fine. First things first, we've got to clear some of this grass to get a better look at the recipe. A giant board with the crafting recipe for catnap. It's not every day you see something like this. And wow, does catnap look intimidating on it. But you know me, I'm always ready for an adventure. So what do we need to bring catnap into our world? Let's find out together. Ah, there we go. Much better. Now, let's see. Hmm. According to this, we need four skulls, four purple dyes, and one mysterious egg. That's quite the shopping list, but for a friend like Catnap, it's totally worth it. I mean, can you believe it? This recipe is our ticket to meeting Catnap. All right, it's time to gather these ingredients. But where do we start? Oh, I know. Let's head over to the village. Maybe we can find a special villager who can help us out. Anyway, I'm sure once we meet, we'll hit it off instantly. So stick around as we dive deeper into this mystery, searching high and low for the ingredients to craft catnap. It's going to be an adventure filled with surprises, friendship. Oh, and would you look at that? A donkey with its little kid on our way. Talk about donkey business. All right, back to our quest. Here we are at the village. This place always feels like home, doesn't it? Now, to find that special villager, Let's see. We'll need to check the houses, maybe chat with a few locals. You know, I've always believed that it's the connections we make that lead us to the greatest discoveries. And today, that discovery is going to be catnap. As we search, I can't help but wonder, what's catnap like in real life? Sure, he looks a bit scary on this crafting recipe, but I've got a feeling that underneath all that, there's a heart of gold. Maybe he's just misunderstood. I mean, aren't we all a little misunderstood? All right, adventurers, let's get to it and find that special villager. Well, it looks like our search in the big houses didn't turn up anything, but you know what? That's okay. Every adventure has its twists and turns, and this is just part of the journey. Oh, and speaking of twists, have you noticed this bridge? Yeah, the one right ahead of us. It definitely looks like it could use a little TLC. Maybe that's a project for another day, right? But hold on, what do we have here? After a bit of a search, it looks like we have finally found our special villager. And would you believe it? They're standing right there on a broken floating bridge over the water. Let's see what they have to say. Hey, Drew's MC, to get the cat spawn egg, you have to farm all the crops from the village. Wow, did you hear that? Our quest just got a whole lot more interesting. Farming all the crops? You know what? I'm up for the challenge. I'm not going to waste a moment. Let's get straight to work. I want to get this egg fast, so let's get on with it. First stop, the nearest farm. You see, in Minecraft, farming isn't just about planting and waiting. It's about strategy. It's about timing. And most importantly, it's about hard work. Look at this. Even the pigs are getting curious. Sorry, little buddy. We need all the food we can get for our quest. Every wheat, every carrot, it all counts. All right, on to the next farm. This time, it's all about beetroots. You know, beetroots have a certain charm to them, don't you think? The color, the shape, it's all very Minecraft. And here we are at what seems to be the last farm. Just look at all these carriers. This must be the grand finale of our farming extravaganza. You know, when I first heard we had to farm all the crops in the village, I didn't realize it would be this much work. But as I'm running from one farm to another, harvesting everything in sight, I can't help but feel a sense of accomplishment. And just when I thought we were done, our villager has another task for us, fixing the bridge. Now that's something you don't hear every day, especially from a villager. But hey, we're here for an adventure, so let's roll up our sleeves and get to it. You see, to fix a bridge, we first need some good sturdy wood. And what better place to find it than right here at the outline of our farm, transforming it into wooden planks, ready to breathe new life into this old bridge. You know, there's something really satisfying about building and fixing things. It's like, with every block placed, 
we're making the world a little better. As I place these last few blocks, I can't help but wonder about our villagers' requests. They're a bit out of the ordinary, aren't they? I mean, villagers are known for their love of working, but asking a passerby to do all this, it's mysterious, intriguing even. But then again, mystery is part of what makes an adventure an adventure, right? And there we go. The bridge is fixed. Time to hop back to our villager and... Oh, what's that? We can finally get the cat egg. Now that's what I'm talking about. All this hard work and we're one step closer to crafting catnap. So, the mysterious egg needed for the recipe was a cat egg all along. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Catnap. Cat egg. It's all coming together now. Before we move on, let's take a moment to look at this village. With the crops farmed and the bridge repaired, it's almost like we're leaving a part of ourselves here. It's been quite the journey, full of unexpected tasks and challenges, but it's all been worth it, because now we have the final piece of the puzzle, the cat egg. And what's this? A cave opening right next to the village? You know what that means? Another adventure is calling our name. This place is like a giant maze full of surprises around every corner. And speak of surprises, hello there diamonds. You know I can't just walk past these shiny beauties without giving them a little attention. Let's mine them and add them to our collection. But wait, we're on a mission, remember? We came here for the lapis lazuli, not just diamonds. It's easy to get sidetracked with all these treasures around, but let's stay on track. Ah, there's some lapis. Let's mine it. Hmm. One stack won't be enough for what we need. Looks like we're going on a lapis lazuli mining spree. Who knows what we'll find as we venture deeper. But one thing's for sure, with the cat egg in our possession, we're closer than ever to meeting catnap. And what's this? Coal. Well, it might not be as exciting as diamonds or lapis, but hey, why not mine some while we're here? You never know when you'll need more torches or want to smelt a mountain of iron. Plus, it's always good to stock up when you have the chance. Oh, diamonds, you shiny little distractions. You're like ice cream on a hot summer day. I just can't resist. Let's grab these too. You know, in the world of Minecraft, it's hard to stay focused when there's so much cool stuff around. But hey, that's part of the fun, right? Now, where were we? Ah, yes, the task at hand. And look at that, a sign pointing to a dungeon. Now, that's something you don't see every day. Dungeons mean adventure and maybe a little danger, but we're not backing down. Let's mine a safe path around this hole. It's pretty dark down here, so let's be careful. A small staircase should do the trick. There, perfect. It's super dark, but that's not going to stop us. All right, adventurers, into the dungeon we go. Whoa, would you look at that? Right here, in the depths of the dungeon, we've stumbled upon something truly unexpected, an abandoned village. But wait, it's not just any old empty village. This one's got skeletons, and not the usual kind with bows. No, these skeletons seem different, and it looks like they're not too happy to see us. Okay, time to think tactically. High ground always gives an advantage in battles like this. So up we go onto the roof of one of these houses. From up here, we can take on these skeletons one by one. It's easier to aim and dodge their attacks from a distance. Plus, we've got the element of surprise on our side. And what's this? A pig in the middle of a skeleton showdown? It looks like this little guy thinks he's a god pig or something, trying to protect the skeletons. Well, it's kind of cute in a way, but also a bit of a distraction. Sorry, little buddy, but we've got skeletons to deal with. Don't worry, we'll spare the pig. After all, it's not his fault he's got confused loyalties. All right, back to the skeletons. Just when I thought we were done, two more show up. Time to break out the big guns, or should I say, the golden apples. A quick snack to boost our health and we're back in the fight. These skeletons might be persistent, but we're not backing down. Now, take a look at this. The skulls we need are right here, showcased around this eerie underground village. But just as I try to mine them, these skeletons keep coming at me. It's like they know what we're after. Attempt after attempt. And it's the same story. They're not giving us a break. Okay, enough is enough. If these skeletons think they can wear us down, they've got another thing coming. I'm fed up with their games. It's time to switch tactics. Let's run to the other corner of the village. We'll dodge their attacks, weave through the buildings, and grab those skulls. They can't stop us forever. You know, 
It's moments like these that really test our skills in Minecraft. Facing off against skeletons in an abandoned underground village, racing to collect skulls while dodging attacks, it's all part of the adventure. Hey, wait a minute, would you look at that? Turns out I've already got enough skulls. Sometimes you get so caught up in the action you don't even realize what you've accomplished. Well, no point in hanging around here any longer. Let's make a quick escape. Up we go, building our way back to the hole we came from. It's time to bid this dungeon and its skeleton residents a swift goodbye. Let's remember, no obstacle is too big, no challenge too tough, as long as we keep our heads cool and our spirits high. We're on a mission to craft catnap, and a few skeletons aren't going to stop us. All right, we're out of the dungeon and on the move again. With the skulls safely in our inventory, it's time to zoom back to our crafting recipe. Catnap, here we come. But wait, we're not quite ready yet. We've got the eggs, we've got the skulls, but we're missing one last piece of the puzzle, the purple dye. Now, you might be wondering, how do you get purple dye in Minecraft? It's simple, really. Red plus blue equals purple. And lucky for us, there are plenty of red flowers around here. So let's get to shearing. Looking back at our journey from mining in the depths of a dark cave, dodging skeletons in an abandoned underground village, to mixing our own purple dye, it's been quite the adventure. And it all led up to this moment. With these red flowers and our trusty lapis lazuli, we'll have our purple dye in no time. It just goes to show, with a bit of perseverance, creativity, and maybe a few golden apples for good measure, there's nothing you can't accomplish in Minecraft. Here we are at the crafting table, mixing lapis lazuli with the red flowers, and voila, we've got ourselves some purple dye. It's kind of like a little bit of magic, isn't it? Crafting something new from different elements, and just like that, we've got everything we need. It's time to bring catnap into the world. Okay, here goes nothing. Everything's in place on the crafting table. The eggs, the skulls, and now the purple dye. And now we wait. It's been quite the journey getting here, but every step was worth it. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this crafting adventure and subscribe. And yes, there it is. After a couple of seconds, catnap spawns right before our eyes. Can you believe it? We did it. So here we are, face to face with catnap. You know, up close, catnap seems a lot less intimidating than I thought, but don't be fooled. While catnap might not look as scary in Minecraft, there's definitely more to them than meets the eye. I thought it'd be funny to dig a hole in the ground, you know, to get on the same level as catnap, have a little face-to-face -face chat. But, oh boy, did catnap not take that well. They got pretty steamed up about it. I guess not everyone appreciates a good joke, huh? I tried telling Catnap it was just a bit of fun, you know, no harm meant. But it looks like my attempt at humor didn't quite land. Hey Catnap, no hard feelings, right? It was all in good jest, I said. But it seems like Catnap's not in the mood for jokes. And because I just can't help myself, I jump back into the hole, teasing Catnap a bit more. Come on Catnap, lighten up! But yikes, that was definitely not the right move. Catnap did not like that one bit. Suddenly, things took a dark turn. Catnap's demeanor shifted and they started attacking. And as if on cue, the weather changed too. Rain pouring down, thunder crashing. It's like the whole world was setting the stage for our showdown. The battle was fierce. With a heavy heart, I defeated Catnap. It wasn't how I wanted things to end, not at all. I guess not all adventures have the ending we hope for. Until then, keep exploring Catnap and his loyal crew. I raised my eyebrows in surprise. The pleasantly named Smiling Critters didn't sound particularly threatening, but Dog Day described them as deceivingly vicious underneath those cute exteriors. Their leader, Catnap, was cunning and commanded powerful magic. His followers were equally hazardous. We have to be real careful in this realm. I've heard this seed was cursed by the Smiling Critters and their wicked leaders. Catnap and his loyal crew. There's the strong fighter Kickin' Chicken, ruthlessness hidden behind humor. The brilliant Bubba Bubba Fant concocts twisted potions and traps. Deceitful Crafty Corn uses art to lure victims off guard. Glad-handing Bobby Bear Hug crushes enemies with false kindness. Persistent Hoppy. Hopscotch tires out pursuers, while clever Picky Piggy steals resources using distraction. If we want to clear this seed and build safely, we'll have to defeat each critter one by one. I know they'll be lurking as random mob spawns waiting to surprise us as we mine and chop, but together we can break this curse. 
Just stick by my side when night falls. I gripped my diamond sword tightly as howls echoed in the distance, signaling the rising moon. This battle would be harder than any Ender Dragon fight, but with Dog Day's faithful leadership, perhaps two amateur players like us stood a chance at victory over the smiling critter's dark domain. The quest was on. According to my scout map, our next target is a smiling critter named Bobby Bearhug. Her lair isn't far just on the other side of this tall spruce forest. She may sound cute and cuddly, but I've heard Bobby's the most sinister one of the bunch. She tricks victims into trusting her, only to squeeze them dry of life with her unending hugs. As Dog Day and I emerged from the dark spruce forest, I spotted a cheerful red cottage nestled at the base of a flower-strewn hill. This had to be the lair of Bobby Bearhug. Her cute house was very deceptive compared to the vicious inhabitant within. We cautiously made our way down the hill slope, weapons ready in case Bobby spotted our approach. As we passed through the quaint white picket fence onto her property, the red front door suddenly burst open violently. There the monster herself stood, Bobby Bearhug appearing as a sweet, smiling teddy bear wearing a flower crown, but her beady black eyes held murderous intent. With astounding speed, the hefty bear launched herself towards us, screeching, Welcome to my huggy home, new friends! Her sugary tone contrasted the unbroken charge. We barely had time to raise our swords before hundreds of pounds of fur and rage tackled us. The air left my lungs as Bobby squeezed with all her might. Through wheezing gasps, I saw Dog Day swing his enchanted iron sword at her plump belly again and again. Bobby just laughed with sick delight, not loosening her death grip. Oh, puppy kisses for you! Working an arm free, I stabbed desperately at Bobby's thick neck. She finally recoiled with an offended, snarling roar. I gulped down precious air and scarfed some cooked steak to regain strength. The fight had only just begun. Together, Dog Day and I battled the behemoth, unleashing our sharpest attacks while avoiding her deadly embraces. Bobby left trails of ruined landscape in her rampaging wake, shattering trees and earth. But our teamwork slowly exhausted even her stamina. With a final dual strike from our swords, the mighty bear hug let out a shrieking cry, then toppled lifeless to the ground. Dog Day and I panted in fatigue and relief. Though the teddy bear terror was no more, deep claw marks and blossoming bruises mapped our battered bodies. We would need rest before facing another smiling psychopath. We followed the faint sobs to the surrounding property where a cheery cyan cottage sat nearby. This had to be Bubba Bubba Fence Lair. But instead of yet another battle, we were surprised to find the front door ajar. Cautiously, I peeked inside while Dog Day stood guard. Bubba Bubba Fant, I echoed in astonishment. I raised my sword warily, expecting a trap. We are here to defeat the smiling critters and break Catnap's curse. Oh, I'm so terribly sorry about all this. I never wanted to hurt anyone, but Catnap forces us to do such awful things with his magic. Dog Day entered behind me, likewise shocked to see this supposedly vicious critter sobbing pitifully. As we shared a baffled look, Bubba blew his trunk and explained himself in trembling words. Catnap put all us critters under an evil curse too, just like your world seed. We have no choice but to obey his horrible commands. He makes me engineer those traps and potions. I take no joy in it. He sniffled loudly. You have no idea how long I've waited, hoping brave warriors would come defeat that cruel catnap. Please, let me join you on your crusade. With my brains and your brawn together, we can destroy that bully and free both our realms. I glanced at Dog Day. Though wary, we were inclined to trust this rare, gentle critter. Well, Bubba, sounds like you've got useful skills for this mission. All right, friend, welcome aboard. We'll be happy to have you in our fight. Bubba's woeful face finally glowed with relief and delight. Perhaps this new ally marked a turning point in our fateful clashes. With brave Dog Day and brilliant Bubba beside me now, taking down Catnap seemed a certainty. Our next move was just on the horizon. 
With our new ally Bubba in tow, Dog Day led the way as we ventured onward, seeking the remaining smiling critters' lairs. If we could eliminate Catnap's corrupted crew, the mastermind himself would have no defenses left. As we traversed the Akaya biome, I suddenly spotted a bright emerald abode nestled beneath the hill. There, I think I see a greenhouse up ahead. Could that be our next target? I asked. Dog Day peered at my discovery and grinned. Nice spying, Drew. I bet that's Hoppy Hopscotch's hideout. Bubba, give us the intel report. The intellectually gifted elephant perused an ancient text he brought. Ah yes, records show that's likely her domain, known for boundless chaotic energy and a penchant for thievery, quite the nuisance for tracking down. We picked up pace until the charming green cottage was directly before us. Butterflies fluttered everywhere, though something about them made my skin crawl ominously. As we reached the front gate, a hyperactive rabbit in overalls exploded from the burrow underneath. Uninvited guests? Oh goody! You trespassing turkeys better get hopping away fast, or I'll turn you into rabbit stew. I'm serious, man. You'd better get out of here, him with catnap. Yet unlike timid Bubba, this critter showed no desire to turn from Catnap's control. When negotiation failed, an exhausting skirmish began trying to pin the unrelenting rabbit. Eventually, we managed to destroy Hoppy Hopscotch and complete that apret of the mission, but there was still a lot more left to do a lot more to do overall. As we continued searching for the remaining critters' houses, our party ventured through an acacia biome dotted with bright pink foliage. Just over a hilly horizon, the unmistakable bubblegum sheen of a certain pig's domain came into view. Picky Piggy's place, for sure. We shuffled up the dusty path to his pink house. I stepped forth and gave the royal purple knockers a resounding bang. Within moments, the carved mahogany door swung open, revealing none other than Picky Piggy on the welcome mat. He eyed us suspiciously with a disapproving snort. Excuse me, what exactly brings you trespassing travelers to my pristine palace? I cleared my throat, getting straight to business. We've come seeking Catnap himself to defeat his cruel curse. Will you join our righteous quest? I pressed on insistently. Picky, just think, with your help, we finally have a real shot at overthrowing Catnap for good. All the other critters, like Bubba, have already turned against his control and joined our crusade. Together, we have the power to crush his domination and free the realms he has cursed. Picky Piggy continued squirming, no doubt fearful of potential consequences should our rebellion fail, but gradually his expression set with determination. Well, I can't, I'm too scared. Catnap's chaos and commands have disrupted my beauty sleep for too long. Very well then, I wish you all the best luck on your remarkable journey, but I'm staying at home. With a sad step ahead, we knew there was a lot more to do because we aren't able to recruit him, although we knew that we were still able to do this journey without any. As we entered a sandy desert biome, Dog Day raised a halting paw. Hold friends. This sparse terrain provides good visibility. We should pause to strategize for when we finally confront Catnap himself. The others murmured agreement and our war party gathered in a circle amidst the lifeless dunes. Dog Day took lead, outlining an initial attack plan against the Catty commander. Drew, you should be the one to go first when we find Catnap. Since you're a real player, you have skills and moves that Catnap won't see coming especially not from us non-player characters. Then it was Bobby Bearhug's turn to add his thoughts. Ooh yes, Catnap will be so surprised to see a Minecraft human like you jumping into action. He's used to dealing with us, the usual characters in the game, not someone like you. That'll surely make him pause and wonder, which gives us the perfect chance to catch him when he's not ready. All of us, the whole group, started to nod and think more about what we should do next. We talked over different ideas and what-if scenarios, getting ready for anything that might happen when we finally face Catnap. Everyone was focused, thinking hard about how to make sure our plan would work out just right. Finished plotting, we ventured on with renewed 
vigor. Two biomes later, the all too cheerful sight of the Critters Commune came into view, where Catnap surely lurked. And we, we steeled ourselves for the biggest showdown yet. Suddenly, I spotted a lithe, violet figure slinking towards the tree line ahead. There was no mistaking that sly grin and cunning aura, our arch enemy revealed at last. The conniving feline froze at first sight of his former servants now aligned with his sworn enemies. Then with startling speed, the cowardly cat turned tail to flee from confrontation. After the crafty cat! Dog Day bayed, kicking off the chase. Our squad pursued hastily, unleashing long-range attacks when possible. Though agile, Catnap's powers proved pitifully feeble, alone now that his pawns had turned. At long last, my iron sword struck true, felling the fleeing, felonious fiend. Catnap yowled pathetically as all nine lives rapidly diminished to nil. Then, with an awful, drawn-out wail, silence. The age of his dominion ended.